What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now surely you guys have heard by now that Bungie are introducing an Eververse trading system into the game. This will come in the form of a new storefront in the tower led by Tess Everest and will hit the tower on October 13th. In this store Tess will be selling 18 new emotes like the ones that come with the Taken King Collector's Edition. These emotes stated by Bungie are optional and won't impact the game in any way apart from when someone kills you in PvP and starts twerking your body. Now to acquire these new emotes from this new store you will first need to pick up some silver. This will be a new in-game currency which you will purchase through the store associated with your console. At the moment pricing information is unknown and we will find out more on October 13th when this drops. In today's video I want to give you guys my opinion on this matter some may agree with me some may not but that is life at the end of the day now me personally when I first heard about this I honestly thought straight away that this is going to be the start of something really really bad card took this route and now you can purchase packs which can contain weapons which give you an advantage over others now I highly doubt it but if this emote selling takes off I don't believe it will but before long we may start seeing engrams being sold or rep boosters and so forth. This in my opinion could lead to another massive change in the game. One where we pay a one-off fee for a massive chunk of the game and we'll be able to buy items through the silver currency. This is a massive change, one which does and will impact us as players on a massive scale. But I'm actually sure I read or saw somewhere that Bungie wanted this to be the case and it's a way many people don't get left behind by not purchasing new DLCs. I mean imagine it like this, like I said we pay for Destiny 2, a one off fee for say $80, for this price we get the full game and all future DLCs completely free. But you use a real life dollar dollar to purchase new armors and weapons. You guys ever heard of a game called Dota? This game runs basically on how Destiny 2 could be and this is a massively popular game, it really is. Now I'm not saying this is going to happen and I know a lot of people are going to be thinking I'm taking this out of proportion. It's just what could happen and this new emote shop could be a test to see how many people actually purchase these new items. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think it's the start of something many people won't like? Or would you welcome a Dota style of Destiny build? Me personally, I welcome the idea of items which have no effect on the game being sold. I mean, you have a choice or not if you buy them. I mean, I wouldn't even mind, like if eventually this shop sold chips, sparrows and shaders, and if possible weapon skins. I mean, that would be pretty badass. But as long as they keep it cosmetic, I'm fine with it. But guys, let me know your opinion on this issue down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Daily Destiny and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace.